Hi everyone, uh, just a quick update. Uh, added in some uh, a new light map mode to the Pro Builder features, so this way, uh, when you're light mapping things, you don't get a lot of light map leaks, which used to be coming through if you're using no draw planes like this. And you definitely want to use these planes again, just because otherwise you're going to be using up lots of space for useless light maps that will never be seen. Uh, for example, if the player were running around up on top of here, uh, none of these ever get seen, and it's a lot of wasted space. Unfortunately, when you bake a light map, if you've enabled the optimization, uh, when you bake a light map, the light is going to fly right up through there and make lots of nasty leaks. So when you have the new uh, setup light map mode, so even if enable uh, optimization is enabled, you can go ahead and just click setup light map, and it gives you this little warning saying make sure you don't change the selection, do what it says. Um, you're basically just going to set the scale in the light map to zero. So let's just click OK. And it unhides all of the uh, no draw planes and then selects them all for you so you don't have to do any work there and opens up the light mapping window and all you need to do is make sure the scale in light map is set to zero don't change anything else there and what this does is just uh, allows light to or, or allows these no draw planes to block light but not receive any so you're not wasting any light map space on them but they will block it entirely from coming up through the plane so uh, just handy, makes makes your light maps look a lot better in Pro Builder uh, and doesn't sacrifice any performance. So uh, once you have that, uh, let me just do a quick build to make this work. Um, you also want to make sure you stay in this light map mode and then just click light map done once you're done, uh, you know, building your light maps. Let me build this and then come right back. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, really nice light map baked right in. There's no nasty light leaks sticking up from it, coming up from underneath or anything like that. Um, just looks great. So make sure you use this method now if you're going to be baking any light maps in your scenes. Uh, and of course, once you're done, you can just go ahead and click light map done and go back to working in your scene. Okay, uh, thanks everyone. Enjoy.